It's highly good to have you uh, this morning. I mean, obviously, at the last time we had a conversation, uh, you did say that people have been kind of trickling in preparing to start the ceremony. What else can we expect? Yes, indeed, uh, Tumelo, we do understand that the president uh, is on his way and we actually need to uh, leave uh, the premises of the church uh, and stand outside uh, because this is a state funeral and they're only allowing um, uh, certain media within the premises. But uh, we are joined by John Filippo, who is the, Hellenic, uh, the president of the Hellenic Federation of South Africa. Thanks so much for your time, Mr. Filippo. Uh, I think let's just start off uh, and speak about the significance of the funeral being at Kosandino and Eleni why uh, they decided to have a chair. Uh, what is the significance of it? Okay, the Cathedral of Constantine and Helen is the Metropolitan Cathedral. It's where the Archbishop sits. It is the oldest, the second oldest Greek Orthodox Church in the country. It is where many of us were baptized. It was where Mr. Bezos was married. He was a very, very firm supporter of maintaining and keeping the church, especially in the area that it's in. Um, never wavered. This is a national heritage, and um, every single Hellene in the country, whether they were born later, even in small villages, etc., recognize St. Constantine and, Hel and Helen as the symbol of authority. Great. South Africa. Okay, and then just speak to us perhaps about uh, the fact that many will remember uh, Papu Bezos as the legal eagle, but also as a family man and very true to his Greek roots. Yes. Um, uh, Mr. Bezos was a unique man, absolutely unique man. He was a true South African. He was also a true Hellene. Uh, he never forgot his roots. He instilled it in all of us. Um, so we were, we've been brought up to be equally proud uh, South Africans of Hellenic heritage, uh, but South Africa, South African first. Um, he was a real papu. Um, he, he would regale you with stories. He was easy going. He was apparently the most brilliant souvla maker, which is the Greek uh, bra. Um, and, and he made you feel comfortable. He didn't tolerate fools, but he, uh, he, he went out of his way to make you feel like you were special. And he learned a lot about people, whether they were Greek or South African or Chinese or whatever. Um, the image that always stays with me is when we, we, we used to go out to commemorate Sharpful and things like that. And, and people of all generations, all colors, creeds, and religions would flock to him, even if it was just to hear two minute conversation with him. He, he really had that personality. And what he instilled in us is a love of human rights, protection of the constitution and the democratic rights of the individuals in this country. Until his last breath, those were the things that he fought for regardless of the consequences. Just speak to us about uh, one of your fondest memories that you have. Me with you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Bezos um, had a wonderful way of getting you to see his side of things. Um, and he would engage you continuously until you saw what he was trying to put across. But what I loved about him was being able to sit down and talk to him without that intimidation. Um, and he would discuss anything with you, uh, provided it wasn't a state secret or something. But for me, my favorite memory was when he introduced the Patriarch of Alexandria to President Mandela. And here were two great men with a third great man meeting and having a cup of tea and just having a discussion. The, for me, that left a, a very good and warm feeling. Thank you so much for your time, John. We appreciate it. So I think that's a great perspective and great memories that have been shared with us, uh, Tumelo, about the man that he really was, and not just uh, the, the legal eagle that many remember him by, but also uh, a family man, a good, uh, we understand he, he loved to bry and he was a good gardener, so um, he'll definitely be remembered uh, by those things as well. Indeed, of course. Uh, that's the man that uh, South Africa has lost there. And as that funeral procession, of course, continues there, Heidi will be coming back to you and to it in just a moment. Thank you so much for that.